This is so low rent. I'm having to hand hold my phone to do this. Ooh, this little camera's on its last leg. Webcam doesn't seem to want to work very well. I gotta remember camera's right over here. Um, yes, it's me. I'm sitting down in front of my phone. Um, sorry about that. Um, so, if it's a little wobbly. Um, getting to know a Transformer fan, uh, part four. Um, I've been asked by several people to join in because I haven't done a video in a very long time. Oh my gosh, I keep looking at the screen. Okay, um, trying to make this quick. Um, that's also been my problem. I'm always very long-winded. So I'm going to jump right into this. How long have I been a Transformer fan? Um, I was in fifth grade in 1984. Um, so um, I'm, that means I was like, what, 10? I'm 38 now. Um, technically, I guess I was... You know, I was a kid fan until about junior high. Um, then I quit until, and really didn't pay too much attention to Transformers until 98, 97, 98. I'm getting up to that point where those years are kind of foggy, remembering which ones. Um, when uh, my buddy Chris said, we need to stop making fun of this Beast Wars stuff and you need to watch the show, it's actually pretty good. And uh, so I did, and I was hooked. And I've been a... I guess a serious fan slash collector since then. Um, standout moment regarding Transformers. Ooh. Um, where'd I put them? Here he is. Centers around this guy right here. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm a, an elementary art teacher. Um, and a couple years ago, as a student, sorry, I'm trying to get comfy. I had a student, um, this was, he was kind of like the, he was my first student that ever came to me and said, you know, you really made a difference, um, thank you for helping me with my art, thank you for helping me with art camp and some, some other programs, thank you for helping kind of tutor me in, in math and stuff after school, um, and as a thank you gift, now he was reaching that age where he was falling out of his interest in Transformers. He gave me this guy, um, I'll pop him up here again, as a as a thank you gift. He said he, he didn't have much interest in it anymore, and he knew that I was a big Transformer fan, and so he gave that to me as a, a thank you gift for being a great teacher. Um, so that would be my standout moment. Um, favorite, te uh, favorite Transformer of all time? Um, I don't necessarily have a specific one. I have many favorites. Um, if I really had to name anybody, I would have to say, um, most of the Beast Wars characters. Um, thanks to, um, Last Stand of the Records, I'm kind of a big fan of Overlord now, too. Um, but I, I, I kind of like them all, so I don't have just one. I mean, I don't have a, a character who I try to collect on a regular basis. Um, Price Transformer Position... This is my alternator's Grimlock, uh, because this was the first Transformer that my wife bought for me. She went out on her own, actually we weren't married yet at the time, but she went out on her own without asking me, without getting any insight, and picked up a figure that I, unknown to her, I really, really wanted, um, and it was kind of this signal that she had accepted my geekdom. Um, so that was, that, that's always been a, uh, pretty cool figure for me. Um, I think a lot of people in this, at this point, have been talking about where they're from. Uh, it wasn't in the description, but I know in people's videos, they've been, been, uh, posting that. Uh, I, uh, was born and raised and still live in Arlington, Texas, which is part of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, where the entertainment hub of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, um, home of the Dallas Cowboys and the oof, Dallas Cowboys, um, but also the Texas Rangers, um, you know, third time's a charm, um, and, uh, and yes, I will be going to BotCon, um, no, I did not buy any packages, um, considering all the drama with, uh, Fun Pub and BotCon and the TF, uh, Collectors Club. I, I'm really quite pleased that I chose to just do general admission. Um, 
But uh, yes, I will be there because I only live about 20 minutes from the hotel. Um, do, 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 favorite Transformers fiction? Um, Beast Wars, because that's what got me back into it. And it's my favorite because it's such a departure um, from any of the Transformer fiction, period. Um, I have to be honest with you, at, uh, at this point, I'm really kind of tired of the whole Optimus versus Megatron thing. Um, you know, that whole storyline, that whole relationship just keeps getting kind of recycled, rehashed over and over and over and over and over again. Um, Beast Wars I liked because it was a totally different group of characters, a totally different setting, a totally different take on, you know, what was going on. Um, so, uh, that would be my favorite fiction. Uh, outside of Transformers, what do I do with my life? Well, as I said, I'm, uh art teacher, elementary art teacher. I teach uh, first grade through sixth grade. I am a husband and a father of a soon-to-be two-year-old, even though he's already acting like a two-year-old. Um, I'm a homeowner. I mow the lawn. Um, you know, all that good adult fun stuff. Um, it's really pretty exciting. Um, well, I guess, okay, I should say, as far as hobbies... Uh, I am a kind of on-again, off-again Warhammer 40k player. Uh, I like pen and paper role-playing games like Pathfinder. That's like my favorite. Or D&D 3.5. Um, I like the Lego <laughs> the Lego video games. Uh, that's the main video games that I play. Or all the Lego games. Although I do have Fallout 3 I've been playing through. Oh, that's about it on that. Um, I'm not going too fast, am I? Um... Origin of my YouTube screen name, um, about the time that, uh, well, I, originally I had a different account, um, that unfortunately fell victim to, if, uh, you know, the, the veterans will remember the period of vote buying and false flagging that was going on with YouTube accounts, primarily within the Transformer community for some reason, and my old account got zapped, um, when I started this one, I was really interested, heavily interested in um, kit bashing, reskinning, customizing, that sort of stuff. And there was a guy that I was following named, uh, went by the name of Lobo, um, did a lot of really cool things with taking Revell car models, reskinning alternators with different alt modes. And I just, for some reason, I thought that was really cool, and I just thought it was really neat to have. Just kind of this tricked out, you know, chopped, low rider, old 50s hearse as a, well, as a Decepticon, as a Transformer. And um, so I kind of created this character in my mind. And I actually bought a, uh, a uh, model kit of Ecto-1 and was going to reskin. Um, I don't remember which alternator I was going to use, um, you know, to, to be this hearse character. And his name was going to be Death Nell. Um, and so that's that's where that came from. And the five zero is just left over from my old account. It's just to help me to remember. Um, anyways, uh, but that's the origin of that. Uh, whose videos do I enjoy watching? I I watch a lot of videos. I am really bad about commenting and communicating. Um, there's a lot of people that point that out to me on a regular basis, and I apologize. Um, if I have to name anybody, I, I do look forward and get excited to see new videos from Classic Horror, uh, Damn You Hussies, um, of course Sea Spray 717, but he and I have been, been buddies uh, since before YouTube, um, since either before either one of us did anything on YouTube. Um, you know, there's, there's, I could go on and on and on. There's a whole list of people I enjoy watching. Um, you know, those are just kind of like the standout names that jump, jump to mind. Obviously, I watch Kal El Prime's videos because I'm doing this. Um, so, um, <laughs> I, I, but I do have to say, I, I am kind of getting, uh, pretty intrigued by a lot of the new guys. Um, Transforming Toy Box, I think, is fun. Um, um, you know, there's a lot of new guys. I haven't memorized names yet, but, uh, um, I'm getting there. I'm trying to not be such a hermit. Um, 
Which Transformers my Holy Grail. I don't believe in having a Holy Grail for any of this. Because, um, you know, once you got it, then you're done. And there's no reason to collect anymore. I don't have Holy Grails. I have, like, projects. Um, collection projects. Like, uh, I'm, I'm still trying. And, and I've almost finished um, putting together the, like, my Beast Wars cast collection. Um... After that, I guess I'll try to finish up the Beast Machines cast collection. Um, you know, I'd like to have an Overlord. I plan on trying to finish Predaking at BotCon. Um, th these are things that I would like to do, but it's not like I go out of my way to get these objects or to complete these collections. You know, if I have the opportunity, I'll take it. If I don't, it's not that big a deal. Um... And if I could transform into anything, what would it be? Um, I'm kind of with timing on this. I don't want to be an inanimate object. Uh, I would rather transform into a 20-year younger version of myself. That would be that. So, um, All right, uh, so that's my 10 questions. And I'm going to try to get some more videos done. And I hope this one goes up because I've been going crazy trying to get this up for two days. Um, so... Um, I apologize for the iPhone video. Um, I know they're not always great. Um, but um, anyways, that's enough. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye.